Thank you. As we face another spike of COVID-19 cases, industries across the country still struggling through this now almost two year long pandemic. One of them is dry cleaners. Sales have been down for nearly two years and now they're dealing with an increased cost in supplies while balancing shortages of hangers and employees. KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leon tells us what one Kansas City dry cleaning business is asking customers to do to help them out. Ray and Taylor, good morning. Yeah, so I recently moved back here to Kansas City and I had to purchase 100 black velvet hangers off of Amazon earlier this month. Turns out my closet needed more, which is a different story, I know. But I went back to check it out and I saw the price had increased by $10. And this is something dry cleaners are dealing with all across KC. Now, some of them, including fried cleaners that you see behind me, are asking customers to return their hangers in an effort to curb these costs. The pandemic has left a stain on the dry cleaning industry. Uh, we saw numbers near as 80% down at the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, they've since came back, but no, nowhere near where we were before. And they're not off the hook. They're dealing with a shortage of hangers and a surge in prices. Pride cleaners say the price for hangers jumped 30%. Now they're asking customers to help them sort out this mess and to bring back hangers that are inspected, sanitized, and then reused. We receive quite a bit from all the customers. Um, I don't know an exact amount, but it's in the thousands range of hangers coming back. Employee shortages are also spinning out of their control. Pride Cleaners closed one of their two production plants in March of 2020 and laid off employees due to challenges from the pandemic. Nearly two years later, they're still in need of help. We've had a bunch of people uh, just kind of high turnover and we can't really get people through the door right now to even apply. And now customers are soaking up a 10% increase in prices and services. It's caused a lot of the smaller ma and pa shops to close their doors. Um, the ones with more locations, more stores, uh, more flexibility have been kind of able to navigate through this industry. And again, Taylor and Ray, this is a widespread issue. I spoke to a lot of business owners all week long, and many of them told me they've also had to increase their prices and are also dealing with both a shortage in labor and hangers. Reporting in Kansas City, Missouri, Danielle Leone, KSHB 41 News Today. Daniela, thank you so much.